Greetings, Eric Backer, the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. We're talking about omega-3. So the question today is, how much omega-3 do I need for a healthy hormonal balance? So if we look at the hormones in the body, you may have heard of the word hormones. You know, most people have heard of the word testosterone, progesterone, est you know, estrogen, things like that, words like that. But they estimate there's between 150 to 200 hormones in the body, an incredible amount. So the hormones need starting materials. And if we look at the sex hormones, progesterone, estrogen in particular, they need omega-3 or essential fatty acids as part of their construction. So let me read out some stuff here. Our clever bodies can build some hormones from scratch. Some of the ingredients or precursors our body actually produces themselves, but others need to come in from the diet or supplementation. Omega-3s are the ones we really need to supply, in particular for the production of the sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Omega-3s not only aid in the production of hormones, but also a more efficient transportation and communication by boosting the sensitivity of receptor sites. So remember, I've done in previous videos, I've spoken about how omega-3 is important for cell signaling for actually helping to build up the health of the membrane of the cell, but also for increasing production of nitric oxide, uh, you know, in the smallest of the arteries, which allows for better blood flow. So blood flows better, cells are structured better, cells communicate better, and this whole thing happens as a result of omega-3. So omega-3 essential fatty acids are very powerful precursors, which means that, you know, they're made into something else for icosanoids, and these are the signaling molecules made from arachidonic acid or other polyunsaturated fats. So, let's do, 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 do. yeah. And the advice you're generally given is just eat a healthy diet, you know, eat a healthy diet and you're gonna get all the stuff you need from the healthy diet. But the thing is, so many women have got hormonal problems and so many men I see have got testosterone issues. Just by putting between two to 3,000 milligrams of omega-3 into the diet daily, you're going to get benefits of that improved cell signaling. You're going to get benefits of healthier cells. You're going to get benefits of healthier production of the sex hormones. And that means you're going to get less period pain. You're going to get higher fertility rates. You're going to have higher um, desire for intimacy. All those things will be improved because of the omega-3. So if you've got sexual issues or hormonal issues, fertility issues, things like that, it's definitely worth trialing omega-3 for three to six months at the rate of about two to three thousand milligrams per day in with your food and that should suffice it's definitely worth a shot thanks for tuning in